Hey peeps, Tyler here. Happy 1T anniversary. I'm actually filming this like half an hour before it's February 2nd. But it will be February 2nd when you see this. And just half an hour for me anyway. February 2nd of last year, 2023, I started testosterone. So it has now been one year on T. I've had so many changes. Obviously, I've not done, but you can hear and see some of it just in my face. Didn't have all this facial hair a year ago, and in just six days, February 8th, I have top surgery, so that's exciting. It's also driving me nuts at the moment, because for a week, which is less than a week now, before surgery, no cannabis. Um, I thought I was unmedicated for ADHD. No. The cannabis was helping and now I can't focus on anything. Please send help. I'm so bored. <laughs> but it'll be so worth it. <laughs> I know it will be. It'll be so worth it. I have wanted this since they fucking appeared when I was 10. I still remember. I used to run around in my underwear when I was a little kid and then they appeared and I was told to put on a shirt and I remember thinking these things don't even freaking belong on me this is wrong of course I couldn't say that because I knew better than to say that out loud but that was my first immediate thought that I have never fucking forgotten I am so ready for these things to be gone so that's exciting. I don't know what I'm going to get done from now until top surgery. I'm going to try to get something done. Reading, writing, <clears throat> buying sims maybe, I don't know. Whatever the hell my ADHD can let me focus on. So, jeez. But, happy 1T anniversary to me. For the things that you can't see because you only see my face. Obviously, I'm hairier everywhere, though I still have, like, a bald spot on the lower quarter of my left leg, which is kind of weird. But, and I can actually sweat once in a while, but I don't do much, so I don't sweat a whole lot. I think I stink now. One of my friends, E, said, welcome to Man Funk Central, or something to that accord. <laughs> um, even though, obviously, I still have to take my medication for my stomach issues that are related to being born with factual association and imperforate anus, because, obviously, it's not going to cure anything, I have to eat more than I did before, which is duh. But I, it, it's still weird, because I still have to be careful with my stomach issues, but I also have to eat more at the same time. But my stomach issues are still a thing, and I still have to take that medication. It's weird. But I'm also, like... I feel like I'm eating like a pig, and yet I'm, compared to before, and yet I'm still losing weight, and my clothes, I'm now drowning in my clothes, so that's a thing, and it's weird, because I used to be plus size, and if I shrink much more, I'm going to end up with a little boy section, but at the same time, I weighed myself, I weighed myself like every Sunday, and I was still like, slightly technically overweight when you go by BMI, which I know isn't perfect, but for me, it, it really would be the, the BMI actually is the weight that I really should be. So it's weird to still be technically slightly overweight or borderline overweight, and yet almost in the little children's section, because short trans man. If I actually become the ideal weight, so to speak, for me, I'm going to end up in the kids' section. So that's a thing. And it's weird, because I used to be plus size. But. I'm not complaining about my weight, I'm just complaining that my clothes are drowning. And, as I mentioned in a previous video, infantilization. But, yeah. Um. I don't really know what else I feel. 
like myself, I am much happier. We're still trying to figure out my dose because it went up too quickly in the beginning, and now we have to backtrack. So that's a thing. But we're getting there. Everything else is fine. As I know some people might be wondering, because some trans guys talk about it, I can still cry just fine. I haven't lost the ability to cry. My emotions, like all the emotions I had before, I still have. I don't understand what some trans people are talking about when they say their emotional range has lessened, or I've also heard trans women say they increased their emotional range, and trans men say they lost it, and I'm just like, I have no idea what any of these people are talking about. My emotions are the same, as far as I'm aware. And all I can do is talking about talk about my own self, obviously, so that's all I'm doing is talking about myself. I'm not trying to talk for anybody else. Just saying what I've heard. If you have any questions, you can ask them. I may or may not answer. But as long as you're not being an actual jackass, it's fine. So yeah, I just wanted to... I don't have any script or points for this. It's just... Happy one year anniversary for me. And.